r slash ask reddit what's something that is romantic in movies but creepy in real life stopping weddings unless you happen to be an ogre with a scottish accent i attended a wedding in a city hall the mayor said he's never heard someone say no but he has already seen people who tried to stop weddings he she got ejected quickly but it never affected the ceremony not taking no for an answer yes i love the movie still but the scene in the notebook when Noah literally just dangles from the top of the ferris wheel and essentially threatens suicide if someone who he's only met a couple times who has a boyfriend won't agree to go out with him is pure insanity. If you don't have a gun to your head, and a gun to your crush's head, then it's not real love. Stopping someone's wedding and asking them to be with you. Really? You couldn't shoot your shot before the wedding? It's not a surprise event. You're really going to embarrass everyone involved and destroy their wedding day when you could have just showed up last Wednesday? Or ditching your wedding at the last minute for some woman you only met once. Looking at you. Serendipity. There was a Ben Affleck Sandra Bullock movie in the 90s that I loved. Because Affleck is trying to get to his wedding and... Due to a comedy of errors, falls in with Sandra Bullock on a crazy cross-country trip full of shenanigans. Of course, he gets there and goes in to tell his wife that the wedding is off and he's in love with Bullock. But then, he sees her, remembers why he loves her, and goes through with the wedding. At the time, I thought it was a bullshit ending. In retrospect, I love it, because it makes so much more sense, and it totally subverts the Hollywood trope. Casually stalking who they're pursuing. Especially if they're a police officer or FBI agent and they just casually look up their interest in the database. Pursuing someone who is already in a relationship. Hitting on a client or customer. In movies the employee who does that is often charming and good looking and it is reciprocated. In real life it is a fast way to get fired. Those elaborate plots that trick the other person into falling for you. How do you even trick a person to fall for you, if they're not into to you? That's never going to work, yet in movies it always does, and the trick part implies it's lying to or forcing the other person. How is that in any way a healthy base for a relationship of any kind? Breaking through airport security to profess your love. Have fun getting taste and sent to prison jackass. Running through an airport at all just to make some dramatic scene about how you do love them after all or whatever. Or just wait till they land and give them a call. Jesus. But you don't understand. If they get on that plane, they will never be able to answer the phone or get on another flight back ever again. You will never see or hear from them again. I don't make the rules. I just relay them. Stealing their baby brother and taking them to the castle at the center of the labyrinth to eventually turn them into a goblin. It's only creepy if you're not David Bowie. Therapists dating or having sex with their patients. Oh but they have such a deep connection. No. That's a malpractice lawsuit in the making. An overdramatic proposal in front of a bunch of strangers. There was a scene in love. Simon where one of Simon's best friends is subject to a public proposal in front of the entire school. And she then has to suffer the horror of publicly turning him down because she doesn't like him in that way. I sunk down in my chair in the cinema and had to look away. Super cringe. But at least they actually showed how that would play out realistically. Someone coming home and finding their entire apartment full of flowers when the sender obviously had no legal way to get in. I would honestly be so distraught. Like, someone managed to break into my house, probably in broad daylight, to leave me all these flowers. I may not even know who it was, and at any point in the future they could get in again and either wait for me to come home or break in while I'm there. I'd be tempted to move places or get a really good security system at the least. Extremely old vampires dating 16 year olds. Imagine being so creepy and low life that after 100 years of lifetime and having superpowers, you still go to a local high school every day to stalk teenage girls. I never understood why he still went to high school when he clearly despised it, even though it says he was turned at looks 17. Couldn't they just say he was 18 and recently graduated? Seems like a dumb reason to repeat high school 20 times. Literally everything in the Fifty Shades movies. AKA every misconception possible about BDSM, but dressed up for horny middle-aged housewives. If Fifty Shades was set on a trailer park, it would be an episode of Criminal Minds. 
When couples are fake dating and trying to convince their family, then the family forces them to kiss in front of everyone to prove their love. No family would ever do this in real life. It's ducking weird. Like please, make out in front of Nana and your Uncle Ken. Oh buddy, where I grew up, Hispanic culture, if a boy and girl had any reason, simmering someone would chant, Bessie Bezo Bezo until everyone joined in. Bezo Bezo Bezo. It's almost a better question to ask what isn't creepy. Nothing. The answer is nothing. Every male in the entire village always hitting on the one single blue female. The woman saying no, 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 nn, yi, yes, 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 um, you be going to jail my friend. Relentlessly pursuing an ex who clearly doesn't want you back, sorry dude. Leaving wine and roses in your ex-girlfriend's car while she's at work isn't cute. It's super creepy and stalkerish. Serenading them at their doorstep or mayo. What about using posters to declare your love for your best mate's wife? I mean, Christmas is the time to tell the truth. I don't like sand. It's all coarse. And rough. And irritating. And it gets everywhere. I killed them. Not just the men. But the women and the children. Two. Hugh Grant. Maybe more disgusting than creepy but having spontaneous sex then just putting their clothes back on and going about their day without even cleaning themselves up. That's how you assert dominance. Force everyone else to endure your duck mask. Jesus. I could have gone my whole life without reading the word duck mask. Because I'm about to use the shit out of it now. I won't be able to get it out of my head. Ha. Huh. Romantically throwing rocks at someone's window to get their attention. Bro, you better be ready to pay for insurance colon. Sending an ogre and a donkey to rescue them from a castle so you can force them to marry you so you can become a king to make up for your small stature. Forced kisses to shut up. My guy. She's being emotional and trying to work through her feelings and all you do is claim her lips. No. Chasing someone who already said no. Multiple times, if someone is already in a relationship trying to break them up. Love at first sight, no, that's just lust and desire. Not taking no for an answer. When they fight too much and always shut each other up with a kiss Noah and Ali had nothing in common. Still that seemed romantic somehow, the notebook. Having scream fighting matches with your partner constantly because you're both so passionate like in the notebook, like. Nah bro, you're just incompatible. That shit ain't cute. Kissing someone who is asleep. Not sharing the door you're floating on in the middle of the freezing Atlantic Ocean after you survive the capsizing of the Titanic. Showing up everywhere. Stalking. Keep pursuing someone after no. Watching people sleep. Looking at you twilight. Serenading someone in general without breaking eye contact. Yep, the editing makes it look good and all. But in reality it's more of a mix of creepy, awkward, and altogether wishing the moment was over. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.